Hey, this is Sam Black with a fifth match with Red White Mentor and Standard. Um, I usually don't only do four, but this is the finals of an eight-player event, and that last match was really short, so I figured I'd record this one too. Um, this hand is a little land-heavy, but um, I'm on the play with good threats, so I'll keep it. Sure. Now we get to punish the opponent for tapping out. And this uh, Rabble Master potentially feeds really well into Monastery Mentor Stoke the Flames. There is not to be here. Um, I'm just going to attack with the Goblin and hold Mentor Stoke. My opponent plays a Rebel Master, I'll stoke it. Otherwise, I'll try to wait until I can play a Mentor and another spell. Somewhat punished. Um, just gonna keep doing the same thing though. I don't see any great reason not to trade my goblin from my opponent's goblin. I guess my opponent might just take it, which I don't really want. I guess that attack was bad in that I didn't want my opponent to take it and I could just block and I didn't really want to trade if I could help it because of stoke. I guess the reason to attack is that I get some value out of my goblin while getting to hold it in play to use for stoke the flames. Um, so I can play mentor and stoke here, but I don't really want to stoke a goblin and I'd like to get more value than that out of the mentor, so I'm just going to be greedy and keep playing lands and waiting until I have more spells. getting better, but not under a lot of pressure. I think I can still hold. Right, that I'm going to have to kill. I think I want to kill it with lightning strike, but it's close. Chain a goblin token. I'm just gonna keep being greedy, taking two a turn.
So Rival Master, I want to run out because my opponent only have two cards and it doesn't really get better over time when I'm not playing other threats. My opponent just has more time to draw removal. Okay, Outpost Siege demands action. Don't like wasting Chain of the Rocks, but getting a Prowess Monk is very good. Cloud Phoenix. Well, I kind of regret using Chain to the Rocks. That certainly buys a stoke. This is not quite the any spell that I was hoping for. This could get bad quickly. Alright, that was a lot of lands. Um, so, sideboarding here. Um, in general, the Burns builds are good. I want Magma Spray in particular because of Ashcloud Phoenix. Uh, I want Glare and I want Erase. Um, I want Outpost Siege and Chandra. I just want everything. Uh, I'm going to cut Rebel Master, and I'm going to cut um, Swift Spear, I guess, and I know that my opponent has Storm Breath, so I don't really want to cut Stoke. Feels really weird to cut Seeker, but that might be where I am. Oh, I can still cut Chain of the Rocks. I did that before, and I think I liked it. Um, yeah. My opponent has Ice Cloud, so it's a little questionable, but I have Chandra and uh, Magma Spray, most importantly. Um, I'm not super afraid of Ice Cloud Phoenix. Um, I think Chain of the Rocks is not great in this matchup. I will choose to play. I will Mulligan this one land hand. Keep this. Um, I'm 
mixed feelings about this. I definitely want a third land. Everything that I'm really looking to draw requires having more. I think I have to keep this. I think I want to use Lightning Strike. Save the Wild Slash in case I draw Monastery Mentor. Now, if my opponent plays Land Outpost Siege, I basically can't win unless I draw an Outpost Siege Chandra or a race. Obviously have to stoke storm breath. No, oh, there's no race. Might have a chance this game. This time I'll use the Wild Slash because I have plenty of mana. Now we just have to try to draw a high impact card before my opponent does. to draw a burn spell, preferably Chandra, or Stoke the Flames. Not quite. Opponent has seven mana, so it's very unlikely that I will win here. I guess if I draw Stoke, I can Stoke plus Lightning Strike the Storm Breath Dragon. I'm technically not dead. I don't think I'll get ton tap, but another storm breath. Going for a burn spell instead. Nope, just having to for storm breath. Alright, I'm dead.